Let's get to it. To GOAT. Let's get to it. The greatest of all time. Hold on. Before we do that, <laughs> let me pour a little bit of this motherfucking <laughs> douce. <laughs> douce in the cup. Let me pour a little bit of this douce. I had to go south on niggas and put it in a mason jar. Take some more yak. Pour a little bit of this motherfucking douce. Salute the hoe. Salute to Jay-Z. Sean Carter. I'm not even calling you Jay-Z anymore. I'm just going to refer to you as Sean Carter. Yeah, we got to call you by your business mm-hmm. name. We got to call you by your business name. Man. I'm not a business man. I'm a business man. Let me handle my, my business. business. Damn. Damn. God damn, y'all leave that man the fuck alone. He, he, so you, you just been telling your... I had the apple juice, bro. Oh, you just yeah. don't have the apple juice. Like, that hurts my feelings. All right, so I'm going to put y'all on. Cognac and apple juice is one of the greatest mixes ever. So if you're drinking Hennessy, you're drinking Remy, you're drinking Douce, and you want to mix that shit with something, grab some apple juice. This shit fire. Absolutely. Um... But yeah, let's get to it. I'll let you kick it off. Mr. Sean Clark. Let you gonna let me kick it off. This is how we're gonna kick it off. I'm gonna right? let you kick it off. Let's get yeah. busy. Let me recite some. Let me pull these up because I can remember when the song is on. But this man told y'all a long time ago. Said a long time ago. I put dollars on mine as Columbine. When the Twin Towers dropped, I was the first in line. Donating proceeds off every ticket sold when I was out on the road. And that's how you judge hove no. Nope. And I supposed to be absorbed to myself. Every time there's a tragedy, I'm the first one to help. They call me this misogynist. But they don't call me the dude that takes dollars and give gifts to the prize. These dudes is all politics. Deposit and check. Look, man, your nigga been fucking telling y'all for years <laughs> that he's a philanthropist, man. He's not gonna make no bad moves on black people's bad. He hasn't done it in the past, y'all. He hasn't, and I can't. I've been waiting for somebody to show me where he has, and he has. The fucked up thing is, people just love to hate hoes so much that even if you present facts to them, them niggas is like, yo, fuck those facts. I'm not hearing that shit. I literally had a debate with a dude on Facebook. And he was like, Jay-Z is not a philanthropist because he didn't take care of home first. He didn't take care of Marcy. So I had to break it down to him. First, I had to show the nigga the definition of philanthropist. Nowhere in the definition of philanthropist does it say that you have to take care of where you're from first. It doesn't say that at all. So, nowhere. Nowhere. So then I proceeded to, to break this nigga down with facts of things that Jay-Z does in Brooklyn. Let me pull these facts up for you guys. The Sean Carter Foundation, every year, they do a toy drive and they drop meals off around Christmas time. In Marcy. In Marcy. In Marcy. That's, that's what happens. The, 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 the Marcy that he grew up in. That's, that's the only Marcy I know. The Marcy that he don't do shit for. Yeah, that's okay. the Marcy. Okay, okay. next. Okay. So, um, he also has a Marcy Youth Basketball Program. A what they, youth? A Marcy Youth. Basketball. A Marcy player. youth. Yeah, okay. Marcy okay. Youth. Like so that's, not Brooklyn. Not, that's, that's also Marcy. That's in Marcy. The Marcy he grew up in. Yeah. Okay. The same one. Bad, same bad, one. Bad, cool, bad. cool, cool, cool. So um he got financial literacy workshops for inner cities to help kids. Like, man, come on, man. Like, that's just at home. We didn't even discuss all the other shit that he does. Like Yeah. The shit he did in Africa, the shit he did for Flint, the shit he did for Puerto Rico, the shit he did. Yeah, like, I mean, the list goes fucking on, man. The man is for the people. Is he going to make money while he does it? Yeah, because he's a fucking intelligent businessman. You, you don't know, become a billionaire by not making money doing shit. But see, my thing is, what I don't understand and what I'll never understand is why the fuck does it matter if a person is making money as long as what the person is doing is good? If the, what the person is doing is a good thing, why do you care? If why can I not profit? Yeah. So it's like, so what if, all right, so what if I just happen to find a way to motherfucking erase the student debt, but I get paid to do it? Like, niggas is going to be like, he only did it because he got paid. Who fucking cares, nigga? I just deleted student debt. Like, you, you, you more worried about me getting paid than <laughs> the fucking students 
People yeah, who try to cure cancer, them, they get paid for yeah. that shit, man. Like, you make money off of the shit that you love to do. And fortunately, he, it happens to be good yeah. shit. Like, it's a positive thing. That fucking doctor only cured that man of cancer because he got paid for it. See how dumb that shit sound? We got so into the shit, we didn't even really tell him what the issue was. So, Jay-Z signed to deal with the NFL. Um, supposedly, it gives him pretty much creative control over their major musical performances, like the halftime show. Also part of that deal is he has a major input on their social justice reform. So the NFL, you know, with all this bullshit that was going on with Kaepernick kneeling, and they, they form a deal with the Players Coalition. So there's a couple of NFL players that represent social justice reform. And they're going to donate a bunch of money into urban communities, into the hood and shit like that. Yeah. So, but these billionaires don't know where the fuck to send this money at. So no. from... From my understanding is, from what I and I may be wrong, but this is what I read, he gets to select the artists that get to perform. In turn, he also gets to select where the money goes for their social justice reform, where he has a major input on it. Which is smart because one thing about Hove, he always has his ear to the street. Always. Like Anybody who's been around him, not saying I have been around him, but I'm speaking on what people have spoken yeah. about being around him. Like, they say, this nigga Hove is like, he's up on everything. Everything. Like, all the current, like, the shit that you think, because, you know, he's not really on social media, none of that. So, they thinking Hove is in the dark. Nah, this nigga is really aware yeah. of every fucking thing going on. So, I'm like, would you rather have a bunch of millionaires or billionaires claiming to throw their money at social justice reform and not really knowing where the fuck is going and not putting it in the right places yeah. or would you rather them give it to this genius black man who's proving these for the people yeah. and let him allocate those dollars that makes sense to me yeah so who gives a fuck if he happens to line his pockets in the process as long as as long as the, shit, still that, the, the shit that he set out to do gets accomplished yeah that's what, like everybody's like oh he betrayed Colin bro I don't think he betrayed Colin Kaepernick I don't think so either. When Kavanick took that, I almost called it hush money again. I'm going to stop, yeah. stop calling it that. But uh, at one point, when Kavanick was first doing the collusion case, he was like, yo, I'm exposing all of this. Yeah. Do, do, do. Everything is getting exposed. I'm bringing everything to the light. Dog, he took the money and signed a fucking confidentiality clause. What that sound like to you? That sounds like hush, hush money. money. Right? That's hush money, B. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... Yeah, we get it. Okay. And I'm not mad at Kaepernick for taking the money. No, no. Take the fucking money. money. Like, like, too. Yeah, take the money, B. Because even if I did play, ain't no guarantee my contract going to be nowhere near what the fuck they yeah. offer me. You know so. what I'm saying? But it's like... It's, everybody's more so worried about Cap still not having a job. But it's like, my nigga, he's making more from Nike in that settlement than he probably oh. ever would have This shit was so field. wild. Like, so he got the settlement. The shit that Nike did was real slick because Nike pretty much paid him through the NFL with the money that he got from money from the NFL. So <laughs> he's he's winning. The nigga may not be working. Um, I I I did see a lot of people say that they caught Jay Z up in a lie, which I haven't listened to their official press release. He said that he talked to Kaepernick about the deal. Now whether it was before or after the deal was already done remains to be. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, but see, so, as far as uh, me personally. Um, all I have personally seen of somebody denouncing that was just Kaepernick girl. Yeah. The chick from in the, uh, uh, yeah, MTV, yeah. Uh, Nessa. She's the only person I've seen say he didn't speak to Cap. Yeah. But it's just like, yo, I mean. He did, first of all, he doesn't need to. He's a grown ass man. Um, who's making a, a big business move, who in effect is taking over the work that Kaepernick yeah. was trying to get done anyway. Um, so I don't think he really necessarily needs to. And a lot of people were just mad, you know, say he, he was boycotting the NFL last year. He told him no, he wasn't going to do the halftime show. And that's because Kaepernick hadn't gotten paid. He hadn't taken the settlement. They hadn't, yeah, they hadn't he was, admitted to shit. He like, was really just blackballed yeah, at, that at that point. point yeah. like, it was nothing going on. So it's just like, but then, I, like, like I said, have the people that are talking shit, talking down on it. I don't think they read nothing about no. what it is. Because it, it's an intricate deal, you know what I'm saying? You got to... But what makes me is it's so stupid. Like Eric Reed, the nigga who was kneeling with Cap, he had got blackballed for a minute. 
He's he, playing though. He jumped. He, he was quick, <laughs> He jumped out and said something about Jay doing that deal, right? But my nigga, you're back in the NFL. That makes no fucking sense. So this man can't do business with the same company that you're getting checks from. That's stupid. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, like so you, you were that serious, you're working for them. Yeah, like, if you were if you were that serious about Cap getting a job, you wouldn't have went back till Cap yeah. got signed either. You would have been like, yo, I'm not I'm not playing till Cap get signed. I mean, they probably would have told him, okay. <laughs> and Chucky do it. And he like, know that. Like, my nigga, you know the, the, the draft is coming up, right? You know there's, like, 100 players with your position. Like, we're going to draft one of them. But he's playing. I don't – has Aaron Reed mixed, missed the whole season? Like, I think uh, – I think – I don't think so. I don't think no, he, I think he missed might have missed the whole one. season. I don't know. I got to look that up. But So, I mean, I'm not sure. That's why I put it in the question yeah, form. Sure, yeah. But I, I don't feel like he missed the whole season. So, I mean, even if you did, you still – after after you got part yeah. of your settlement money too, because you were a part of the settlement too, you took a job back with these yeah. people. So if it was really fuck these people, you should. And his, his excuse is, "I'm be a pain in their ass." Nigga, you could have been a pain in their ass from outside the NFL. Yeah. So now, nah, pretty much what he did after Cap got blackballed, he went in the office and was like, "That won't me cussing, mama. Yeah. It was him cussing. <laughs> I won't cussing with him, yeah. mama. Can I come back and can I play the game? Nah. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? It was just pretty much like, yeah." Here's what niggas hate. Here's the conversation that niggas really hate to have. Cat might not be signed because the niggas' stats aren't good. Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. We're not going I know it pains you as a 49ers fan. And don't get me wrong. His that he 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 had two good seasons for y'all. The year y'all went to the Super Bowl. And I think y'all But see, the the the, the mm-hmm. one season that he um where all this shit start happening and he sat out. He didn't get benched because he sucked. Remember, he broke his pinky or fucked his thumb or some shit up. Before the kneeling and shit? Before the kneeling. That season, he was fighting for a job against Blaine Gabbert. Because his his hand, he fucked his hand up. I don't care about the reason. Blaine Gabbert is trash. It's trash. <laughs> and the fact that the headlines were Colin Kaepernick in competition with Blaine Gabbert for the job is like... <laughs> nigga, all, but yeah, but, his, going down but his hand was fucked up and he, he didn't tell him. This is this is the article I read. It right. could have been bullshit. No, I mean it might be true. Now I'm saying so. Fact check. Anything that we ever say, I'm gonna disclaimer real quick. Anything that we ever say, fact check us. Don't tell me I'm wrong unless you have facts to prove I'm wrong. Yeah. I don't hear that shit. I typically don't tend to speak on emotion or. I do give my opinion because that's, that's why I say fact check us. Don't just fucking mm. yo. 